Marie, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, then welcome. Your girl is coming to you live from the beautiful Costa Rica. I am staying at the Andaz Costa Rica Resort at the Peninsula Papagayo. So I am having such a great time here. Costa Rica was a location that I have been fond of, but never really took the, like, the step or the leap, if you will, to visit this place in person. And I am so glad that it's happening and that I can share it with you. So the Andas Costa Rica Resort is in Guanacaste. So Guanacaste is actually in the northwestern part of Costa Rica and it's known for its beautiful beaches, biodiverse parkland. Papagayo Peninsula is known for their luxury resorts like the Andas, but then also their, their golf courses and it's just a really great place to come out, be serene amongst nature and relax. Now, if you decide that you want to come to a resort as immaculate as Andaz, but you still want to kind of go out and explore and find some other places to go, you can totally do that because nearby there's like Coco Beach, Liberia is actually the airport that we came in on. Um, that's roughly 30, 40 minutes away. And if, you try, if you're trying to get like on a taxi or something, consider about 60 to 70 USD going and coming for a taxi, roughly. That's what I was quoted. But if you're probably thinking like, maybe I'll go from here to San Jose, Costa Rica, you're looking at a several hour drive. So just keep those things in mind. And on my blog, I explain some great transportation options, nearby areas like what I just shared with you now. It really is an in-depth, no before you go travel guide for all things Costa Rica, not only with resort life and what you can enjoy and, and experience here at the resort, but also if you're wanting to kind of like see some of the waterfalls or some of the other great um, things to see here in Costa Rica, what are your options to make that happen? That's on my blog for you babes because you know I got you. So the Andaz Resort has a little bit of something for everyone. And when you come here, you're guaranteed to see families and kids by the pool, having a good time, drinking slushies. But then you're also gonna be able to go to the adult pool area and see some adults living their best life as they should when you come to Costa Rica. The Andaz Resort actually sits on a 1400 acre private peninsula. And they have everything from a spa, fitness center, golf, a beach house area, kind of think of like a beach club, but they call it the Andaz Beach House, open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., free internet, laundry, concierge, and I have to bring up the spa again because my experience was amazing. At the spa, I did their Reiki treatment, and then I also did their like body scrub. I have it all linked on my blog. You can check out more about the benefits of the treatment, the time it takes to continue, have it go from start to finish. And the great thing about the spa experience here is that it is truly an experience. The ladies that I worked with were very knowledgeable and were just so welcoming and kind. And I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but during the Reiki treatment, I said my affirmation was to just be in a state of calm. I just wanted to be present. I wanted to be in the moment here. And then somewhere along the time with us together, I fell asleep. Like I fell into a daze. And so I'm like, okay, maybe job well done. Like we accomplished our goal here, but it's just so beautiful. You're amongst nature. You literally could be walking to one of the restaurants. There's three restaurants on the property here. We'll talk about that in a second. You could be walking to go to dinner at night or breakfast in the morning, and you can see monkeys in their own habitat. They're totally doing their own thing. They're not worried about us. Or you'll see geckos or lizards, or it's just beautiful. It's amazing to be able to come into a space where nature is still preserved and respected and cared for, even though you're in a beautiful luxury resort. We are in a king bed bay view room. And honey, this, the, the views are absolutely spectacular. I'm not just like gassing it up because I'm like, I'm here. It's really beautiful. Like the, here, I feel like sunrise and sunset were moments of tranquility for me. I was really just able to say, I'm waking up to this view. Like I'm seeing this every day. King bed, 
Bayview room, has views of the Calibra Bay and the forest. So uh, of course you're seeing out, seeing the beautiful, beautiful water, but then you're also going to see forestry as well. And then it has a Riverstone rain shower, which I absolutely love. I love this shower. So when it comes to food, you will not go hungry here, <laughs> like at all. There's an all day menu, which you can utilize to have delivered to your room with room service. There's also the staff checks pretty regularly. They, they come and check on you to see if you need any, you know, anything within the room, but they also say, hey, do you need some chips to fill out the bar? Do you need drinks? Do you need Pepsi, Coke, water? They're, they're just so intentional with making sure that you have everything you need. And I genuinely appreciate that. And if you don't snack on chips in your room, <laughs> You definitely have the option of trying one of the three amazing restaurants on the property here. So there's Chao Pascal, uh, Rio Bongo, and Ostra. All very different, equally amazing, but just totally different vibes. So we would normally go to Rio Bongo for breakfast. Chao Pascal we did for dinner and really, really loved it. I think I feel like at Chao Pascal you get a you get a taste of a little bit of something from from everywhere. There's some items on the menu that are um, inspired by dishes from Panama. There's some some dishes inspired from Chile and of course Costa Rican culture and, and, and food, but there's a little bit of something for everyone at Chao Pascal and it's it's great. They have live music on the weekends. Like it's a really good vibe. And then Ostra is a cuisine for seafood. If you're a seafood lover like me, then Ostra is definitely the place you would want to go because when you go there, you'll immediately see on the menu whether you want like mussels or if you want shrimp or if you want scallops. It's just chef's kiss. And you can meet the chefs, you know? There's also an opportunity where you, if you want to have like a private dinner, let's say, you know, you it's a special occasion or you're you're with your partner or something and you're like, hey, I, I want to step it up. I want to do something a little bit special. I want to have like a private dinner set up. You absolutely can do that. More info on that is in my blog as well. So not only has staying at the Andaz Resort been an amazing experience because of course it's a luxury resort, but there's a lot of opportunity to be informed and educated here if you are inquisitive, whether you are at a restaurant and you're like, hey, this is saying that it's a dish from Panama. Can you tell me a little bit about it? And I guarantee you everyone who is a part of the Andaz team here will know what to share with you about the dishes or about the chef or it's just so amazing because it says a lot to know all of those things and you can tell that they're very knowledgeable, they're very passionate and they're very proud of Latin American culture and how they're able to present it in such a beautiful way here at the resort. So I could raise rave about the team and just the way things are set up here and how it's relaxing, but it's informative. So let's talk about weather. You're probably going to think that you should check your iPhone weather app. If you do that, you're probably going to get freaked out. I definitely did. And I for sure got freaked out because when I looked at the dates of when I was here in Costa Rica, it said high chance of rain. There was no sunshine emoji in sight. It just said rain, rain, rain. And I'm like, Okay, I have on my blog the rainy seasons, how to plan around the certain times of the year because again, this is a very like tropical climate. So there's the, there's definitely some things you wanna keep in mind and consider when you're timing out when you wanna come here. So check out my blog for that, link down below. But when I looked at my weather app, I thought, oh my gosh, it's, it's gonna rain every single day. But it's considered that it's going to drizzle or like sprinkle or rain in some form or fashion daily. But I will say for the most part here, early morning, like 7 a.m. type of early morning to like mid-afternoon, it's been beautiful, sunshine, great weather, birds chirping, like it feels like you're in like a Disney movie scene or something. And then just get ready because maybe by the time you're going to dinner, you might need to have an umbrella. But welcome to Costa Rica. Like I would not complain about the weather at all because it's just something that if you know and you watch videos like this, you can prepare for it and and know before you go. The digital wave is embraced here, like for sure. If you wanna have things like a paper menu or anything like that, you absolutely can. But when it comes to communication, hit the hotel up on WhatsApp or connect with someone digitally that way and you'll be pleasantly surprised. They're very 
quick to respond, they communicate very well, like it's great. So you'll just shoot a text over to the WhatsApp for the hotel and say, hey, I'm in this building, I'm trying to get to this location on the property or at the resort, can you have a, a golf cart come and pick me up? They'll say, sure, it'll be here in like five, 10 minutes, can you wait outside your, your, your room or outside the building for, per se? And they'll come and take you. It's just so nice. It's such a great vibe. And I definitely think, you know, for the price point that's attached to staying at the Andas, you definitely get your money's worth. I think, you know, right now, so many people might be trying to justify, um, you know, which resort would we like to go to? What experience are you looking for? If you want to have luxury, but you also want to be immersed in culture, you want to be immersed in nature. Nature, this really is the best of both worlds because here yes you are getting that luxury experience I mean when you walk onto the property you're going to be taken aback because the entrance into the resort you're immediately greeted with 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 beautiful water views and forestry and you can see where the volcano active volcanoes I mean it's it's really amazing and you're able to just be greeted with nature it's and, and to also have like just the digital advancements on the property as well, you, you, you're not gonna have like spotty Wi-Fi. So if you're coming out here and you're working remote, you're a digital nomad, I mean, you're totally gonna be fine. There's just, there's a lot to be said for a resort that again, preserves the nature in which they have been built around, but also gives you that luxury experience that you're probably looking for, whether it's an amazing spa or the gym facility here or the media facilities or the beautiful like infinity pools the adult section pools or if you want stuff for kids there's boats that'll take you to the beach house if you're not wanting to use the actual like land transportation there's just so many options you can check on the website as well and just see that they have activities from jet skiing to snorkeling to look you know taking tours of of the local waterfalls and everything I mean there really is something for everyone. So also note, if you are coming from America, presently, right now, at the time of recording this video, you do have to have a negative COVID test in order to go back to America. They do have options here on the property, which I think is amazing, where you can have a COVID test done here. Now, roughly, my test was around $80, $85. So just kind of have that prepared. Costa Rica accepts USD. Actually, in one of the guests, the gift shops here, you could. I was able to do like Apple Pay on my phone. So like, don't worry about that. If you want a currency convert, like, go at it, do your thing. But USD, everything here is digitized. Like, you're you're totally fine if you you just have your debit card or anything like that. But definitely keep in mind with the COVID test, being prepared for that. Took my test around like 48 hours before it was time to go. Got my test back pretty quickly, took it, had my results by like 9 p.m. that night, was fine. Um, also insurance, I'm going to go in depth about this on my blog so that there's no missed detail, but be prepared to have your insurance set up, your travelers insur travel insurance, and then have all of the documentation. You need to get a QR code, you need to make sure that you have proof of your insurance along with the information of when you booked to be here at Andaz and have all, I just have all of that. I'm very like, where's the app for this? So I had everything mobile, everything on my phone. I got to customs when I got into Costa Rica on my flight, showed them everything and I was good to go. So I'm gonna go into depth about that on my blog so that you know, hey, these are the things you need to have in place or you ain't gonna be in nobody's Costa Rica. You won't be seeing nobody's forestry and beautiful Colebra Bay. You won't see none of that. You'll see, you'll see my pictures. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> But I hope that this video was fun and informative and helpful. And please let me know if there's any other questions, like if you want to know anything else about some of the amenities or the cool things, activities that they have available here at the resort or what my personal experience was like. Anything under the sun, I am here and happy to answer those questions for you. Just leave them in the comment section below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. But a lot of the information where I can go in depth 
step and give you links and suggestions and recommendations that's going to be on my blog that's linked below as well because I know that when I travel I'm type A I want to know every little detail I want to know the pros and cons I want to know the ins and outs all of it so a lot of my know before you go travel guides are very in-depth and allows you to know as much information as I can humanly give from my own experience but when it comes to the Andas Costa Rica Resort at Peninsula Papagayo five stars all the way all the way I would say that with the utmost confidence that if you want to experience Costa Rica with the luxury resort feel but the beautiful celebration of culture and nature then you have to check out Andas <laughs>